hello people welcome back to this second tutorial of curve fitting in earlier tutorial we have done with straight line fitting a straight line now we will see a, a fitting a second degree parabola so let's start this what we done in previous tutorial we fit fit a point straight line now we have to fit a parabola if we have given these points let me clear this so let's see this also with an example example for a fit a fit a second degree parabola to following data data will be given as the x and let me find example x and y format x is 0 1 2 3 and 4 y is 1 1 1.8 1.3 2.5 and 2. 2.5 and 6.3 sorry so fit the second second parabola to the following data and they have mentioned that taking x as a independent variable x as a independent what is that i will explain later and find difference between actual value and estimated value of the y when x is 2 i will explain that later so let's solve this with a normal equation for a second degree parabola so we know that equation of straight line was the y is equal to ax plus b so here equation is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c one more, just we added one more variable c ax plus b here ax square plus bx plus c and normal equation for for para, this type of question there are three normal equations in that example in of straight line we saw two this is all need for the straight lines this is equation this is normal equation here we have we have three just added one summation of y summation of xy and summation of x square y summation of y summation of xy and summation of x square y so a of what we did here is just increasing x power x square x cube and x fold this is the how we can do just remember this normal equation that is important for solving this so for finding these values um, summation, summation of y summation of x square we have to make table of them so let's draw x y x square x y x square y s cube and x four x square y because we need there's all summations we need to put them in this equation so let's enter this value x zero one two three four zero one 2 3 4 y is 1 1 1 .8, 1 .3, 2 .5, 6 .3. x y is sorry x square is 0 1 square 1 2 4 3 is 9 and 4 is 16 so summation of x is 
टेन फोर सेवन सात आठ नौ दा टेन समेशन ऑफ वाय इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन समेश समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर इज थर्टीन एंड बाय पुटिंग एक्स एक्स वाई मीन्स वन पॉइंट एट इंटू वन वन पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टू टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू थ्री एंड लाइक दैट आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड ऑल समिशन समेशन ऑफ एक्स वाई इज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर वाई इज वन थर्टी पॉइंट थ्री समेशन ऑफ एक्स क्यूब इज हंड्रेड मीन्स जीरो क्यूब इज जीरो देन मीन्स वन देन एट थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन फोर सिक्सटी फोर सो एडिशन ऑफ देम इज हंड्रेड दिस इज लाइक सेम विथ दिस समेशन ऑफ एक्स फोर इज फाइव फिफ्टी फोर सो वी गॉट ऑल द वैल्यूज दैट वी नीड टू पुट इन दिस इक्वेशन सो लेट्स पुट देम इन दैट इक्वेशन फर्स्ट इज वाई समेशन ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स लेट्स डायरेक्ट पुट लेट समेशन ऑफ समेशन ऑफ वाई मीन्स ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन इज इक्वल टू what i did is this is x summation of x square y summation of x square is 130.3 130.3 i have just put all these values from this to here so i got three equations so you you are learning curve fitting so you must know how to solve this equation you can use scientific calculator to solve three equation and from that you will find value of a b and c a b and c the value is i found 2.325 minus 10.655 and 12.425 so in starting we got the equation from parabola was a x square plus b x plus c and now we got the a b c value so let's put that value in that so y is equal to 2.325 x square plus b is minus 10.655 x plus c c is twelve point four two five two five. So in question, they have told us x as an independent and difference when s x is equal to. Normally, this is the equation, but they have told us this is the right answer. You can stop till this one. But they told us find s when y when x is equal to two. So what we have to do is find y. We just have to add x is equal to two. So we have to put x equal to two means this is four. Four into two point something. So value will be here. So minus ten point six five five into two. so this value then calculation we will find y so that will be the answer thank you